Tennis had been waiting for its next generation. In 2014, the young guns arrived. Nishikori, Raonic and Dimitrov entered the top 10 of the Emirates ATP rankings. We needed them to actually come through and, and prove themselves by winning and making their presence felt. Well, this year, they've done that. And I think that just freshens the whole scene up magnificently. And I think that for, for tennis fans, to have new faces is also good because uh, Federer, Rafa, Djokovic, they are getting older and the new guys need to come and it's to, to step up. Uh, all of them are two, three, four years older than me, so um, it would be perfect if I can be in their position in two, three years. Dimitrov, you, you saw the way he went on, the, his very good win against Murray at Wimbledon particularly. I think you know he's clearly another player, one of those young guard who is up there to stay at the very top. He's just got everything, Milos. He's got a fantastic serve. So many other parts of his game have, have, have improved as well. At the very, very highest level, he still hasn't quite done it. He's just fallen a, a little bit short, but I think that will come with time. When he got into the world's top 10 for the first time, that was when uh, we all realised, wow, he's a talent who's here to stay. And I suspect that for, for Kay himself, that was when he realised he really can uh, live with the very best. The stock looks set to rise for the established order of youngsters. But behind them, new names are poised to make their break in 2015. There are already plenty of even younger pretenders making a major impact. I guess like a golfing recently where he kind of, I think he was injured, so ranking fell back a little bit and, and uh, now he's gone on this, this tear of winning all these challengers and ATP events, but I think he started in the challengers. Borna is uh, really uh, among the most promising players on tour and uh, he said uh, uh, on many occasions that uh, he hoped uh, to be uh, in top of the uh, men's professional game and uh, it really might happen. He has developed a mature young man, used to the camera these days, used to the radio, used to the press conferences, which is all part of being a top player. I still don't think I'm uh very good tennis player, you know, I think I need to come uh, into top 10 and then I can say, you know, uh, I did it because that's my goal when I was younger. Not too long ago we were saying that, that tennis was an old man's game, weren't we? Because there weren't teenagers breaking through and suddenly we've got Zverev, who, who is a, again a really exciting talent, has a big game. Alexander Zverev came from nowhere. My word, does he hit the ball. He's six foot plus. When Alexander matures, gets a little bit older, understands how the game is played, more experienced playing the big boys, he's going to be up there. Kyrgios, he's got X Factor, you know, and, and um, you know, it's, it's firepower, it's, it's control, it's, uh, he's got, he does the unexpected, um, and you know, as long as he can control that a little bit and not do the the unexpected at the wrong time and, and keep himself focused. Um, I, I really do think he'd be a Grand Slam winner. I think Tanasi is, um, he's got you know, a big game. He's got, he's got really got all the shots. Uh, really open-minded to learn. And I think that's, that's what's really crucial. And I think mentally he's very strong. Uh, a slower burner than Kyrgios, but he will come through very, very strongly indeed. The 2015 season is already only weeks old, but already the new young guns are making their mark. Led by Yuri Vesely, the champion in Auckland. He's a big guy that, that can serve very, very big, which is, which is always very good and very positive. You know, I think that's just a few of the things that, you know, can, can go well for him and think he has a bright future in front of him. So as the season continues, a growing group of players are keen to make 2015 the year of the young gun. By the end of the year, I think we'll be saying, there we go, oh yeah, I remember talking about those guys. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we've got all the action as Australia crowns its champion for 2015. 
And don't miss our date with a living legend. We speak to one of the all-time greats, Rod Laver. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.